So you guys have seen my downstairs entry many times. And if you haven't, I have a recent video with some ideas on how I decorated the uh, downstairs. But today guys, we're going upstairs. So guys, we're gonna stop right here on the landing before we get to the second floor. And I wanna share with you a few budget-friendly ideas that I used in this area. Now you guys might remember the three um, hydrangea balls that I showed you in a recent haul and I got those at Tuesday morning for those of you who did not see the haul and if you're interested I will link that video somewhere in an iCard or at the end of this video but those hydrangea balls came from Tuesday morning and they were $12.99 and so I just have the hydrangea balls hanging from the top of the dough bowl and I place the candles at the base and I think it looks really nice. Okay guys, so I don't know if you remember these candlesticks. I received them during the Thanksgiving holiday from Balsam Hill and I was not fond of the color but I spray painted them in a warm silver and so now I like them much better. So guys, always shop your home first and see if there's anything that you can transform into something that you really like. So guys, I also wanted to share this metal wall hanging with you. Guys, it was originally orange when I bought it. At the time, I think it was 80% off. So I did paint it in an oil rub bronze when I first brought it home. I have brushed a little silver on it as well as a little gold to lighten it up just a bit as my decor lightened over the years. And so you guys probably already know that it's probably on its way to getting another makeover in the near future. Now you guys might remember this picture that I took out of my powder room when I did the refresh. And so I brought it upstairs and I think it looks perfect with the colors that I have going on in the entry hall. So sometimes it pays to shop your own home. Okay guys, so here we are at the top of the stairs. Now I just want to say one thing before I get into everything that's on the table. One of my viewers asked or commented in the last video and said that I make decorating look so easy. And it can be, but most important, you want it to be fun. But I wanted to show you guys, just for fun, what I go through before I decorate. So let me just share with you what my process looks like. And this is just a small portion of it. I'll have to tell you, this entire hallway was full of decor, just trying things to see what worked. But here's a little bit of what I went through.
And sometimes, guys, you just have to try things to see what works. Okay, guys, so if you did not see my last haul, I shared with you this lamp that I got at a ridiculous low price of $6 from Tuesday morning. Now, it was, I thought it was 80% off. But a viewer brought to my attention that it was actually 90% off. And then when I tried to style it, it was a little difficult because, you know, you have this heavy shade, the top is heavy, and then the bottom is lighter in weight. So what I did um, to satisfy my uh, design taste was to add these beads to it. And so now it has a little weight to the bottom as well as the top and it gives interest to the glass base. I also thought it was a good idea to um, lay this runner across the table and then that also helped to give a little weight to the base of the lamp. And so next to it, I wanted to continue to bring some interest to the um, clear glass. So I placed a um, little tea light holder and a little floral arrangement that I just put together with some random flowers that I had around the home. My sign here just to anchor the center. And I think that pulls everything together as well as these two vases here. Now I did pay full price for those, but once again, I never pay a lot for my items. I did get those two vases from Nebraska Furniture Mart, and then I just placed some flowers from Hobby Lobby. Now this little wood uh, pedestal here, I got from another one of my um, little specialty stores, and it once again was little of nothing. And then I just placed a little um, glass votive cup holder um, that's in the shape of a bird that I got from Google. Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys were able to get some tips and ideas on how you can decorate your entrance on a budget. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.